And normally the healing process takes five to six months to heal. So it's a very long process. So the problem that we have with the navel is there is this very soft skin. Yeah. So normally your body sometimes doesn't want it and it starts to push it away. So what we're going to do to avoid it, we're going to pierce a little bit more longer so that way we have enough tissue to hold it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Normally, I suggest we come back in two months for a control check to see how everything is doing. If we see, mm -hmm. oh, it looks perfect, perfect size, perfect everything, we can change colors if you want or do something about it. If we see that it's getting too short or something, I would say, okay, we need to change the sneaker or something like that. Okay, we will keep it safe as possible. Okay. Yeah. Then, normally, we need to speed up the healing process. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell you a few tips so that way it's more easier. The first tip is keep it dry. The more dry, yeah. the better. You have to think when your skin is kind of humid, it's kind of like moisturized, it gets softer, and soft tissue bacteria grow faster. Yeah. So if we don't want to have a bacteria there, we just keep it dry. When I say to keep it dry, that means no swimming, solariums, spa, sauna, yeah. Bikram yoga with 100 people sweating next to you. That, that's fine. All those activities are super dirty. So yeah. three weeks, no way. You need to shower, showers are okay. Long bath is not okay. Something very important is to dry very well inside the navel, so that way we keep it a little bit more dry. Something that we don't do very often, but now you should do it, because yeah. most of the other problems are inside, so we have to avoid that. Then, shorts, leggings, jeans, no high waist. <laughs> because as soon as you sit down, it will kind of be in there, yeah. and when you stand up, pop, it can get stuck. Yeah. So it can grow out, and it will be a little bit more painful for you. Then, you have to think that the skin, right there, is, has a lot of mobility, has a lot of stress. When you sit down, when you stand up, it has too much stress all the time. Also, imagine if you're going to work out, if you work out abdominal area, it's pushing it away all the time. So the first, I say two, three weeks, I would suggest to keep it a little bit more quiet with apps or any activity that will kind of like crunch and stand. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, normally what I do, I'm going to clean everything and I'm going to draw like a tiny line there and then the curve of your navel. Yeah. Then I'm going to measure from the line and up like one centimeter. That's kind of like a long distance so that way if your body wants to reject it, you still have tissue to hold it. After I draw that, I'm going to ask you to sit just to see how your body folds and see if it will have any pressure when you're sitting down. And then I'm going to ask you to lay back. When you're laying back, your skin normally gets a little bit more tension. So I'm gonna draw again the curve that we have naturally and another one centimeter up. So we will have like kind of like two lines. If the lines are pretty near, I will suggest, yeah, go for it. But if the lines are a little bit far away, I will suggest do another piercing or other different stuff because that means that when you're in a relaxing position and then when you lay back, it's stretched too much. So that's tension that will push it away. Okay. okay? So sometimes the nail is not suited for the piercing. Okay. Then, do you have any animal at home? Yeah, So I have a dog. Your dog is going to become your worst enemy. Yeah, but she is currently with my mother, okay. so it's fine. So, if you're going to visit your mother or something like that, uh, or is yeah. hair around where you're going to sit or where you're going to lay, I suggest to buy this roll thing, roll down the sofa, so that way when you lay on it, it's kind of clean. Don't let it be around your bed, so that way your bed is kind of clean. Yeah. Change the sheets tonight, so that way it's also clean for today. Yeah. And be careful when you clean your body and when you dry it because you can get stuck. And the cleaning is going to be super simple. I'm going to give you like a salvan solution like that one. It's uh, like saline water, it's like a sterile saline water. Yeah. You're going to spray a Q-tip and just clean around the culas, in the top and the bottom. I normally suggest to do it two times a day for the next four months. Okay? Yeah. So. The healing process is so long that sometimes your body is going to tell you, hey, we're still here, you have to take care of us. Yeah. Normally it's when you're stressed, when the weather changes, even when you're going to have like menstruations or something like that. So when that happens, you will see some clear stuff coming up. So what I want you to do is grab a shot glass, salty water, I want you to lay back, put the cup on top for five to 10 minutes, and then you stand up and you dry very well. Okay. So the heat of the water, what it's going to do is <coughs> make the blood circulation to run faster. Yeah. So it will heal faster. The salty will absorb all the gnocchi stuff that is inside. As soon as 
you finish, you dry it up, so now the skin is more rough and nothing comes out. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? You run your navel just to work in a clean area. As soon as we have everything prepared, I will press a little bit of the skin just to make it softer and just for you to get used to it. As soon as I think you're ready, I'm gonna ask you to taste it and this way. And voila, you're done. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna start. <laughs> Back, you have very tight skin, so it doesn't move that much, so it's the same. And when you sit down, your navel is very tight, so it doesn't compress that much, so perfect. Make sure the length is tight. I'm gonna pick up the other It's just a tiny pressure first, just for you to get used to it. Uh -huh. well, right now, we're not doing anything, come on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna press a little bit there, just to make it softer. Okay. Good. Still alive? <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> So you will feel just again like a tiny pinch in there, very good. So I just want you to, to step in, that's it, that's it, it's over, ah. we're done. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Still alive? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, the 14th, yeah, February 14th. Four, Super Bowl. 